Hello. Good evening. Thank you. And thank you to our lovely audience. Uh, my name is Vicky Ramo, and I'm going to be starting off to just explain the rules. Audience, would like, would like for the audience to have it quiet a little bit. So we have, we have, I mean, it's important to get to hear the questions. It is really judges. important for everyone quiet so that the contestants can hear the questions properly. Everyone is going to have 60 seconds to respond to their question. Each judge will have an opportunity to ask one, two, or three questions. Okay? Audience, do you understand? Okay. If someone answers in a way that you like or you dislike, please just hold the peace so that the next contestant can just move on. Save all your applause for the end. Thank you, beautiful people. We love you very much. Okay, so Mr. Carr on my right is going to ask the, on my left, my other left, uh, on my left is going to ask the first question. Bindu? Ms. Bo, can I call you Bindu? Bindu, now tell me, if you could change two things about yourself, what two things would you change and tell me why? Did you get my question? Did you get my question? Yes. Good. Now go ahead. Now if what I said is, if you could change two things about yourself, what two things would you change and why? Two things about myself. I'm Bendu. I'm a very tall, slim girl. And I'm also beautiful. Thank you. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, kindly, kindly for one. And you know, you know what I love about Sierra Leoneans? We are good people. We are good people. So, hold on, hold on. Hold on. You know, if, if you keep murmuring, if you keep murmuring, what would happen is you'd eat up her time and should not be able to respond to the questions, okay? Vicky, if you want to make her interpret what Vicky been said, she so let me say this. She said she wants you guys to have it quiet. Keep your applause or murmuring after the contestants would have answered the question, okay? Please, otherwise we go eat up the time for nothing. And at the end of the day, we go say that we woke somebody else. All right? Please, let's have it quiet. Kindly, let's have it quiet so we'll have a question again. Um, just for this one. So we'll get the response. Now, Bindu, did you get my first question? Did you hear what I said? I'm hearing now. So yeah, I yeah. said, if you could change two things about yourself, what two things would you change and why would you do that? Good morning, everyone. I will love to change the way I walk and also the way I smile. Thank you. Why? Why would you do that? Mm, because I do not know how to do my cards properly, so I will work on it. Sure. Just one more question for you, Bindu. Now tell me who is this very nice president of the United States of America? Pardon? The very nice president of the United States of America. What's his name? 
Donald Trump. Hello. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Miss Bo. Next question. The next question is from Miss Bombali. Next question is from Miss Bombali. Ms. Bombali, could you please give us an example of a time in your life when you showed that you were a person of integrity? Okay, so can you give an example in your life where you showed you were a person of integrity? Did you get that clearly? Thank you. There was a time in my life when someone lied against me, um, it was my friend, and um, she accused me of stealing. But I know that I didn't do it. She was the one who did it. But she said it was me. Because I know she was afraid of answering, that was why she said it was me. I took the blame for her. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please. Thank you. Our contestants need to hear the questions, please. Thank you. Thank you. Please. Thank you. Okay. You have 30 more seconds. Would you like to use that time? Okay. All right, yeah. she's done. Okay, thank you. Next person, please. All right, let's clap for her. Please clap for her. Miss Bond. Miss Bond. Good evening, Ms. Bond. In Creole, we say, tight gently, better pass, we pull. Do you agree or disagree with this statement and why? Did you get that clearly? Good morning, everyone. I totally do agree. I totally do agree that tight gently. I quote, better pass free quote, I mean free gentry and of course. This simply means you having all the material things in the world, not having peace, not having freedom, liberty, do anything. And free poor means you don't have the material thing, but you have the freedom. You have good people around you to do everything. Thank you very much. Thank you. Please save your applause till the end. Thank you. That's all. Next stop, Miss Falaba. You done? Miss Falaba. Okay. I know we're all excited, but we need to listen and get the questions clearly. So that our contestants don't stumble. Please keep it down. Come, go forward, come forward. Okay. 
Can we please keep it down, please? Thank you. All right. Judges? Hello, Miss Falaba. Hello, everyone. Hi, are we together? Thank you very much. Miss Falaba, my question to you is, do you believe pregnant girls should be allowed to go to school? And give me a reason for your answer. Do you believe if preg do you believe pregnant girls should go to school? And why? Yes, I do believe. And why? If you are pregnant, I'm sure you are capable to be educated. Educated is the key to success. Okay, thank you. Next. All right. Next Ms. contestant, Miss Kyla Hu. Miss Kyla, can you hear me? Can okay. You? All right, ladies and gentlemen, please. Thank you. Ms. Kailan, can you hear me? But I have a simple question for you. We can't hear, please. Ladies and gentlemen, please. Thank I you. I have a simple question for you. Now, women are underrepresented in the executive, the judiciary, and the legislature. What okay. can we do to increase the participation of women in government. Okay. What should be done to increase the participation of women in governance? Good morning, Sierra Union. And good morning, every guest here tonight. I believe that politics and governance starts in our home. If our mothers start teaching us girls that we can be leaders, we will apply that when we are grown-ups. <laughs> Leadership should be a lesson that should be taught in every home by every parent. It is not just the boys who can be the head of the family. When a girl is around, she can take care of things like the boy does or more than he does and i believe that girls should be given the opportunity to study government and politics in their various institutions whether they are farmers or teachers or tell or seamstress they are supposed to study governance thank you okay, okay. miss cambia Centimil, can you hear me? Oh, we need to listen. We need to hear the judge, please. Centimil, you can hear me. If you are president for one day, what would you do? If you are president for a day, what would you do? Good morning, everyone. Being the president is such an opportunity. If I am to become a president for a day, I am very passionate about education and I am also very passionate about health. Being a female... <laughs> Being a 
as female president, I will make sure I be a role model to young girls. I will make sure I be a mentor to them as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Miss Karen. Esther. Disability is not inability. I repeat. Disability is not inability. Explain what this means to you. Disability is not inability. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone. To be, be disability doesn't mean you have the capacity to do other things abilities can do. Thank you. Yeah. Thank yeah, you. An... Her time's up. Thank you. Thank you. Miss Kenema. Okay, Miss Kenema, STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. Tell us why these fields are important in society. Did you get that? STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. Why is it important in our society? Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. The STEM is important in the society because it helps to improve the technology in the society. It helps you to know how to calculate things that you cannot do for yourself in the society. It helps you to know much more about the whole world. You. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. Thank you. So now we call on Miss Koina Dugu. Hello, Miss Koina Dugu.
Hello. Good morning, Ms. Koenadugu. Um, so my question to you is, in our society today, we see a lot of women desiring lighter complexion. In your opinion, if you have a platform, what do you think needs to be done to reduce women's desire for bleaching products and a lighter skin? Can you repeat it again, please? Uh -huh. Okay, so my question is, what, in your opinion, do you think should be done to reduce women's desire for a lighter skin? For bleaching product. Is the question clear? Yes, ma'am. Thank you very much. In my opinion, I think that we should sensitize them that bleaching is not good for their skin. We should educate and engage them and to revive their mindset from engaging in such kind of things. Because bleaching is not good for the skin. Thank you. Thank you. Miss Connor. Ms. Kono, what do you think is the most pressing health issue for women in Sierra Leone? What do you think is the most pressing health issue for women in Sierra Leone? Thank you. The most pressing issue for women in Sierra Leone is abortion because every day Women are doing abortion, and abortion is very, very bad in our country. Thank you. Thank you. Miss Moyamba. Aye. Hi. Good. Okay, we need to hear the judge, please. We need to be quiet, please. Thank you. What do men need to do to, to increase gender equality in Sierra Leone? What would men do to increase gender equality in Sierra Leone? Is it men or women? Men. Men. So what should men do to increase gender equality in Sierra Leone? Thank you very much, sir. First, increase gender equality in Sierra Leone. Men should stop the discrimination among women. Because most men at home, they will say, well, now it's 50-50. So you will give 50% of your salary or whatever, and I will give 50% of my salary. So men should stop the discrimination among women. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Miss Potloka. Why is financial independence important for women's empowerment? Why is financial empowerment independence, mm -hmm. independence, financial independence important? Why is financial independence important to women's empowerment? On Good 
morning, everyone. Good, good morning, everyone. I, I believe that women. Are okay, okay. I believe that important because if women try to get their own, uh, it's more important to them because they will get their own self pride and. Thank you. Thank you. Miss Pujahu. Hello, Miss Pujao. There is a famous saying, and it goes like this Well behaved women rarely make history. What does this mean to you? Well behaved women rarely make history. What does it mean to you? Good morning, everyone. In my own opinion, even in the home, a woman should be paid the most highest wage. I do not mean in cash or in fine, but the woman should be respected in the home. Mostly, we can see. Um, Women going through a lot of struggles. And so, a woman should be more respected in the home and even outside the home. Rarely, it's either in cash or in any other form. Thank you. Thank you. Miss Tonka Lily. All right, so that is Miss Western Area Rural, Benita Subar. Miss Western Area Rural. Rural. So apologies, Miss Tonka Lily. Apologies on that. Good. Good morning, Miss Tonka Lily. So in our universities and schools, sex for marks has become a common phenomenon. What do you think we should do to protect our girls from sexual exploitation? Sex for marks is the new theme in school. What should we do to protect our girls against such? Sex for grades is for grades for marks. Sex for Thank you very much, Ma. I think in my own opinion, sex for good can be reduced in school in setting robust action towards this perpetrator who are allowing these ladies to give their skin in order for them to give them marks. And I think again, okay, and I think again, Given they, are, they have to empower these girls in their institution for them to know that they are capable of being reading in class in order for them to get their marks, not only their skin, but they still have the potential. If they give themselves time, they become patient and perseverance in whatever they are doing. Thank you. 
Thank you. All right, Miss Western Area Rural. Miss Western Area, many young people are leaving the African continent. Hold on, okay, we cannot hear the judge, please. We need to hear him, please. Many young people are leaving the African continent for greener pastures in the West. Can you please repeat yourself? Many young people are leaving the African continent to seek greener pastures in the West. What can you do to stop this exodus? Many young people are seeking greener pastures out of Sierra Leone, out of Africa. What can you do to stop this exodus? Good morning. Thank you so very much. Well, actually, Africa, we've got greener pastures because we've got all the raw materials. So if every young person will know, will be able to know that Africa has got greener pastures, that we can stay and exploit and expand and do everything with the raw materials that we have. It will be better. We'll become great and be developed because other countries, overseas, developed countries, started like us. They have beginners like us. And so encouraging the young people to stay and maximize their potentials, every potential, that is what I will do media and letting them know what can you do what can you do thank you to stop this? what can i do i will hit every media house every school every tertiary institutions have conferences and talk shows and camps letting them know that in your in your in your continent country you can stay be educated and develop yourself and develop your society that is exactly what i will do thank you oh, yes thank you and now the last but not the least miss western area Auburn. Good evening, Esther. Imagine you've just won this competition. Imagine you have just won this competition. Can you please repeat yourself? Imagine... Let's be quiet, please, so we can hear the judge, please. Imagine you have just won this competition and you go out into the world. What would be the one message you will tell them about Sierra Leone? So imagine you've won this competition and you go out of Sierra Leone. What is the one thing you would tell them about Sierra Leone? Thank you. Thank you very much. If I, want, if I win Miss Sierra Leone and I go to the world and I go out to the world, I one thing I will tell them about Sierra Leone is that Sierra Leone is a and in other and also I will tell them Sierra Leone is a very productive country and once you invest in Sierra Leone then Sierra Leone will become far developed than even the United States of America. Thank you. Okay, thank you. You can go back. So, these are our 16 contestants from 16 districts. That is Bo, Bombali, Bonth, 
पलबा काइला हूं थामिया करिने हेनमा होइन दुगु कनो बोयम्बा थोटलोको पुजे हूं सोंकलिली western area rural and western area urban these are the 16 district this our 16 this are our 16 contestants and only one queen will emerge tonight 